Hey, hey. So more big updates today in the world of OpenAI and ChatGPT. They've launched some plugins now, which is pretty interesting. So I've just enabled mine. And I think this is probably in direct relation to the post I made yesterday about ChatGPT versus Google Bard. So now ChatGPT is doing some pretty interesting things like being able to look at websites and so on. So when I logged into ChatGPT this morning, I saw two new things now, GPT 3.5, which is, I think, the free version available to free people. I've been paying for GPT-4 to do all my testing and stuff like that. And underneath GPT-4 now, you can see this thing that says plugins beta. So I'm going to go to plugins. And now I've actually put a few plugins in myself to test them. But if you want to install plugins, you can go to the plugin store. And there is roughly, you know, I don't know, eight pages of plugins here. So I've chosen a few that I think are interesting. Yeah, one about crafting the perfect prompt while we've been able to interact with online video platforms like YouTube or Daily Motion. Uh, another one to be able to browse web pages, which I think is probably a bit of a game changer for Chat GPT 4. So all you need to do is hit install, and it looks like you're allowed to have three plugins enabled at once. So if, say, I wanted to, you know, interact with Keymate, which is an SEO plugin. I can't because I've already got three names, so I'd have to get rid of one and add the other. Anyway, the one I'm going to demo is this WebPilot one because I think this one's pretty cool. And just to give you an insight into how we make some of our reels, particularly the ones that are relating to some of the stories on EliteAgent.com. So with that enabled and with GPT-4 enabled, I'm just going to go to EliteAgent.com. And all right, so the top story yesterday was this story here about rent bidding. And so let's go and have a look at that story. Now, previously in chat GPT, if I were to summarize this, I'd have to use an extension like Glass or I would, which is this one here, I would have had to have copied and pasted the text. I could have used this one called Get Summary, but that only allows me to open my summary. Hang on a second, let me move my head. That only allows me to move my, my summary in, in GPT 3.5, which is not as good as 4. But with this new plugin with GPT 4, I can just copy that URL, come across to new chat and say, you know, can you please give me the five most important bullet point for this article and normally you know like in uh, up until today really you had to then copy paste the text of the article in there and that was quite problematic in terms of you know you you had to be able to sort of have a short article they're going to just paste that url and see what happens and so now it's you can see it's using the pilot the the plugin using web pilot plugin so it's, it's off and racing now okay and here it goes proposed legislation blah 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 so a little content creating hack i'm just gonna i'll talk about this while this is generating a little content creating hack that you could use and this is how we create some of our reels when it comes to you know some of the celebrity houses and things like that that we put online is we will take the article and create a video script from it so this is it's quite good this is giving me the the main points but it's not really giving me a video script that I could narrate for my social media or something like that so now I'm going to say could you please give me one minute video script for TikTok from this article and please make it engaging and here we go. I <laughs> love that it recommends upbeat music. Yeah. We might have to, okay, so this is, you know, so it's giving me dramatic gestures and thoughtful poses and things like that. Anyway, I think what this is probably aiming at some kind of a younger audience, but a lean agent's audience is more, you know, around that, probably around that slightly older demographic. So if I was to really round this out, I would say, yes, I know. 
being energetic and energy and authentic, I would say, could you please give this to me? And I always say, please and thank you to the robot. Could you please give this to me again, but for an audience of 30 to 50 year old real estate agents, actually you know, 25 to 50, and don't worry so much about the gestures, just the operation. Yeah. And so this is probably a little bit better, but being the marketer I am, I would always insist on a better hook. Not always insist on a better hook from chat GPT. The fact is I really preferred the original Early this morning, I tested this and I much prefer this TikTok script, which says ever wondered how new laws could change the rental game in New South Wales. I mean, I don't like rental game and I would say something else, but okay, let's dive in. New legislation is on the table, blah, 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 and a bit of drama, but not everyone's on board. The Real Estate Institute of New South Wales CEO, Tim McKibben, is worried. He's asking, how can agents tell renters about higher offers without encouraging a bidding war? Great question, Tim. But wait, there's more. I mean, you know, like I, I just, I love this script because, you know, I can actually see the green screen background with someone in the foreground and us scrolling the story on TikTok or something like that. Anyway, I much preferred that version of it than, than the one that it gave me. So that is a couple of the plugins. So I just want to go back for a little bit and have another look at some of the other plugins that are available. So this is you know, interesting because we've had news stories over the last couple of weeks about in the US, Redfin and Zillow have created chat GPT plugins, you know, for, for searching for homes. And if you have a look here in the plugin store, you can see that they're here. So questions about the housing market. And then if we look further on, there's all sorts of plugins here that we can play with. And I might do. Tasty recipes definitely want to play with if you're of those recipes on TikTok and stuff. It's probably the last page. Zillow, yeah. Your real estate assistance here, search new listings, property details, and get home with Zillow. So, yeah, it's, I could wonder what portals in Australia are planning, if, if anything. I mean, you know, this says a few real estate plugins on here, rentable apartments and stuff like that. We'll have to have a look at how they go. The next thing I would like to do is test out this chat to a PDF plugin. So ask your PDF. So I have got a, I've just got a, just downloaded 2023 digital marketing trends and I've put it on my Google Drive and I've got a link here and what I'm going to do, and this is something you previously couldn't do either. So I'm just going to ask chat GPT to give me a bit of a summary of this. So could you please give me our summary of this pdf here's the link and let's see what it does okay so it's picked up the plugin and analyzing okay here we go consumers are looking for tailor-made experiences and remarkable content they want a variety of content such as blah 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 blah, blah. okay and here we go yeah so this is interesting so i might just say okay i'm a real estate agent Could you please give me five tips that I can my business from this PDF? And here we go. So be accessible. That's repurpose. That's a good one. Running down your thoughts, uploading podcasts, sharing slides, filming your day-to-day activities. That's a good tip. Communicating in local and detailed terms. I love that one. Because, and also creating specific content for a generation, location, gender, or hobby. And if you've watched some of my other videos on icebreakers, you'll know that you can very easily go to the census data in Australia or in the US and have a look at the core demographics of your area. Yeah, some other tips on nurturing relationships, encouraging user generated content, and staying true to your brand. So they're all really great tips, but what I'd really love you to take away from this is that pretty soon, you know, with Ask Your PDF plugins in ChatGPT, consumers will be uploading your PDFs. Any PDF that you send them, an information PDF, a property brochure, could be a contract, could be an insurance policy, could be any PDF. 
So I would encourage you if you're testing this to upload your own PDFs, ask them a few questions and see what comes back because that's what your consumers will be seeing and you want it to be a positive brand experience. Finally, if you'd like more tips and strategies on using chat GPT in your business that will save you either time or money, head over to my blog, which is icebreakers.com with an A in front of it. So A-I-C-E breakers.com. See you there.